What is up, YouTube? My name is Sam Aldrich, AKA Sam the Cameraman. And if you guys are new to this channel, each and every week we come out with new gear reviews, DaVinci Resolve tutorials like today, or any kind of cool tip or trick to make your workflow easier. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button. Anyways, before we move on from all this, let's go over what we're gonna be going over today. If you haven't seen it already, Eminem's Godzilla rap music video he came out with has a lot of cool different VFX on it. So one of them that I really liked was when his eyes started bulging out of his head. And if you guys wanna see this music video, I'll link it in the description, but it's gonna look something like this. And it's just something cool like that that you can add into any of your videos to kind of add like a cool little bulging eye effect. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you guys how easy this VFX effect truly is. <sighs> All right guys, now that we are back here in DaVinci Resolve yet again, we have our clip in the timeline. As you can see, it is the same clip that you guys saw in the intro to this video. My eyes just looking weird. Anyways, let's bring this bad boy into Fusion. You can make yourself a new Fusion clip first, but you wanna click on your clip, right click on that bad boy, hit new Fusion clip. For me, I have that shortcut to be A. If you wanna make shortcuts, all you gotta do is come up to DaVinci Resolve and go to keyboard customizations, and you can customize each and every key to do a different thing or task within DaVinci. I recommend doing something like that. If you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know down in the comments, but let's not waste any more time. Let's head over to Fusion. All right, now that we are in Fusion, this is where all of the magic happens. So first thing we're gonna do, because I wanna see what I'm doing, I'm gonna stretch that down. We're gonna highlight both these clips, slide them on up, zoom out just, well, hold control, use a scroller wheel, zoom out just a little bit. Now we're looking good. All right, first thing we wanna do is we wanna select the media one in. That's gonna be the one right here on the left. All right, then you're gonna hit Shift Spacebar. And this is gonna pop up your quick selection tool. Now what we wanna do is select our grid warp. Now I already have had it typed in, but if it isn't there, all you gotta do is type in grid warp, and it's gonna pop right up. It's gonna look like this. Select it, push add. And just like that, we got our grid on our clip. And if you grab a hold of it, you can see it does all kinds of warping and weird stuff, but we have to make sure it's sized up to our eye with the track it on our eye, but don't worry, it's a lot easier than it seems. So the first thing we want to do is we wanna to go to source up here in the inspector tab. If you don't see it and it looks like this, just come up here, hit inspector. And under show, it'll already be on destination, but we wanna hit source and instead of region, do selected and let's bring this size down, just like that. We only want it a little bit bigger than our eye. I think that's good for me. Now, if this is on selected, you can draw a big square over your grid, select all of them, hold control, use your scroller wheel to zoom in, and just slide this up on over your eye. And then to move this up and down like this, I'm just using my scroller wheel itself. But when, and what you want to do to push, position this over your eye, you want it to be in about the middle. Now, I wouldn't recommend putting a dot like this right in the middle because that will allow, it'll make it so you can't move that side of the, uh, the eye or that part of the eye without it warping. So it'll look a little funky. So we kind of want it to go like right here. That'll be perfect. All right, we click off of that. We can zoom back out. Next thing we wanna do is come back to here where it says show and select destination. And as you can see, this is how it looks and we need it to not look like this. So next thing you wanna do is come over here where it says copy source to destination, click that. And just like that, it zooms right back out. And we wanna see the whole picture. We wanna see everything going on in this. So what you wanna do is come over here to your render tab, unselect the black background and boom, just like that. It's up. Now we can go back to our controls tab, zoom in just a little bit, and now we need this to be tracked to our face. So you wanna track something on your face that doesn't move too much and kinda of moves in the same direction as your eye. I know my eyes don't blink at all in this, so what I'm gonna do is track my eye. So what you're gonna do is come over where it says center, right click, 
go modify with, and we're gonna go tracker position. And that's gonna pop a tracker up right down here. And we're gonna grab it by the corner. If you zoom in, you can see this little corner. We're gonna grab that. And we are gonna just move this up to my eye. I'm gonna zoom in and just put it on the edge of my pupil. And don't worry about the tracker or the grid moving up. We're gonna readjust that. But for now, this is what we want. Now we wanna come over here to the modifiers tab. Because we're modifying this with the tracker, this is what we're gonna do. So we want to track this from the beginning of our clip. So we might have to remove this tracker just a little bit, just like that. And we're, we're gonna go track it from the current time all the way to the end. We're gonna let the tracker do its thing. All right, now that this tracker has completed, it says render complete, you're just gonna smash that okay. And you're gonna say, oh my gosh, the grid is not where it needs to be, but don't worry. All you gotta do is come over here to where it says tracker one, double click that, that bad boy pops right open. And you see down here where it says X offset and Y offset, we're just gonna adjust these until it's right where we need it to be. So I'm gonna come down and just adjust it. And this kind of takes a little bit of fine tuning to match it up, but that's okay. So you wanna just kind of zoom in a little bit and you just gotta play with these until it gets to be about right. And I'm gonna say right about there for me. If you look at the eyebrow, you look at the side of the face and the nose, everything looks to be spot on. All right, and now what we can do is come back to the tools tab right up here and we can select these little points. Make sure we are under selected and we can now start to warp our eye and make it big. This is when that bulging eye effect really is gonna come into play. So you're just gonna select one of these and as you can see, they're already moving stuff up. So I always start on the outer ends first, like your eyebrow. You want it to look pretty even so it looks like a natural thing. I'm gonna pull that out just a little bit. I'm gonna come down here and pull this down. And I'm gonna speed this process up so you guys don't have to sit and watch me adjust it. But basically all I'm gonna do is just work my way in and pull these points until this eye is warped exactly how I want. And one thing I will show you really quick is when you click a point and this crosshair comes up, you can adjust these uh, lines so that they're more curved with the eye. So that really helps contour the eye, make it actually look like the eye still has its natural shape just blown up. So I'll speed this up so you guys don't have to sit and watch me. All right, and now that this eye is kind of looking how I want it, I might be able to adjust it on this side just a little bit more. You just gotta kinda play with it, and the better the resolution of your video, the better that this effect is going to look. Now if we play this back, and we just drag this cursor along, we can see that the eye is there, but the eye, the, the grid is not tracking the face correctly. If you look, part of my face is being cut off, the nose isn't lined up, the eye is looking all weird, and that is okay, because we are gonna fix that right now. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your grid warp is selected, come up where it says show, go to source instead of destination, come to center, and go to connect to tracker one, tracker position. All right, now if we come back to destination, just like that, if we select our media one out, our eye is tracked right in perfectly on our face. And it is that simple. So if you wanted to also do this to the right side of your face or the right eye, and you could actually do this to any part of your body or any object within your frame, but if we wanted to do this to the right eye, all you do is make sure none of your nodes are selected, hit shift spacebar, type in grid warp again, we're gonna hit add, and what we wanna do is grab it from the media one and just drag it right into grid warp two. In, in order to connect these to the media one out, we're gonna grab right here is a merge node and put that into there and bring grid warp two in as into the foreground of the merge node and bring it to the media, uh, media out one. But 
Now what you would do is you would just go through that same exact process as we did on grid warp one. So it's a really easy effect to do. And like I said, you can add this to any object or any part of your body. It's really cool for different music videos like how Eminem utilized it or just any kind of cool video that you guys do. If you guys like this tutorial, make sure you let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see other cool fusion tutorials, let me know down in the comments. But until the next one, guys, I'll catch you later.